Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at an interesting tutorial, the five shaded circles. And this tutorial is going to look at shading technique of a function. And we're going to just assess workflow and how to achieve different effects using the gradient tool and these circles. So my canvas is currently in pixels 3890 by 2200 and I have five gray circles here which we're going to be applying each effect to so let's get straight into it the first one I'm going to look at is the window pane sheen I call it now these aren't official names I just I find that this is what helps me to identify them the most so we're gonna First up, come down to the color palette and we're just going to select 70% gray or I think 70 or 80% gray is here. Good. And inside each circle is another circle. You can't see them because it's the same color, but this will just aid in the speed of the tutorial. So for your sake, for your case, you may just want to do some. create another circle within this circle to make them concentric right and this circle is in millimeters it's a hundred and five with a stroke at the moment so I'm just going to add the stroke so why I did to add the stroke is just I just held shift and I'm going to select a white we can give it a white stroke and for this part now we're just going to Duplicate, carry this down, duplicate this middle circle, carry it down, and come here. Let's remove the stroke. We're going to use like this white right here, and we're going to activate the gradient tool. And we want this gradient to be on the radial, and for this one, we're going to select up here and we're going to drag down. And I'm going to drag, drag this right one down here. And I'm just going to carry it down to about here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to come to our fill and stroke dialog box. So we're going to go to object, fill and stroke. And we're going to reduce the opacity down for this. And then we have our first circle, which is the window pane graphic. And this is um, this is particularly good for when you're doing like a spaceship window pane, and you want to give the illusion that something is behind this. So if we just get a letter, just for demonstration purposes, let's make this Montserrat for the font. And um, let me get a capital A to scale this up. Good. If we put this here and then make this about red or so, any color would do, but this is just for the purpose. Good. It makes it look like it's behind a window pane. Great for like spaceship windows or dark windows. Great, nice technique. Okay, so I'm going to move into this one. And I'm just going to change this to pixels quickly. This middle one. Sorry, change it to um, millimeters quickly. This middle one. Change it to 105. And just align it. Good. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do very s have a very similar start. Except we're going to start with white or like a, a more grayish white, something like this. And then we're going to have the outline be pure white. So the inside has a deeper white than the outside. Good. And if your eye is keen enough, you can already see this, what this is going to be. This is going to be like a scoop effect, like the, um, the surface is actually impressed or going down into the shape behind it. So the rims are higher, almost like the shape 
of a bowl but not quite as deep and we're going to do that using the gradient tool and we're going to make sure radio is selected again and we're just going to drag downwards right. and we want to maintain that gray at the end but at the beginning now we want to use a deeper gray so I'm going to activate the dropper tool with D and select a deeper gray and already you have an effect that makes it look like a bowl but you could um we can go to the fill and stroke dialog box which we opened earlier kind of just bring it down a bit more to heighten the reality of the effect and we can sort of play about so that the gradient is a bit smoother along all cases And that gives us that scoop effect. For the next circle, just going to use the millimeter, change it to 105, and just put this in the middle with the align tool. And for this one now, we're going to make it look like a dome. So it's actually extruding outwards like a circle. So like a sphere. And we are going to give it a white outline again. And we're going to use the gradient tool. And we're going to make sure it's on the radio and we're going to carry it down. Good. And I think this is about where we want it. We want the middle to be white. And we can even carry this out a bit. And uh, we're going to give it a gradient stop. So I'm going to make sure we're on the gradient tool, hold control, and we're going to add gradient stop right here. Let's drag it up and down. Good. Then we're going to activate the dropper tool. Well, we can just pick a gray down here, in fact. And we're going to pick this gray, looks good. And we're just going to scale up, scale down until we get that fit that we're looking for. Somewhere about here is, is looking good. And now that you have this, it's just a case of playing about until you're comfortable with the way the, um, the radial sphere is handling everything. And so we have our mid-tones, our harsh end tone, and then we have the reflection light at the bottom, which gives us this spherical look, helps it to look 3D-like. And we can drag this into just the way the curve goes around for that harsh light until you get something that you are com comfortable looks 3D enough. Mm -hmm. And that will give us a ball effect. Okay. For the next effect, we're looking at an inset. So this is where there, there is an impression, but the impression is even. Unlike this impression, which actually gets deeper as you go down and then curves up. It has a uniform curve. This one is just a flat impression. So what we're going to do, just... Again, we're going to give it a white outline with shift or control. And we're just going to um, change the size of this to 105. Good. And just center this in the middle. And for this one, we won't need a stroke per se. But let's give it a darker color at first. I think. Um, Perhaps darken in this. Let's go to our fill and stroke dialog box. I think this is about the right darkness. So we're going to duplicate this one with Control and D, lift it up. Let's give the bottom one a different color too, just for, the, just for now. And we want it to be about here. 
I'm gonna go to path, select the two of them, the rose red and the gray. Then I'm gonna go to path and difference. And that will leave this crescent mood shape here. And let's just make it dark again. And we're just going to hold control and drag this crescent moon down. And then what we want to do next is that we want to darken this crescent moon. So we're just going to use a dropper tool and select this dark gray here, duplicate it, and then flip it vertically or on the horizontal axis. And we're going to select this white right here and immediately we have the effect of an inset and you can go ahead and um, add a gradient if you wish I'm just gonna add a, a simple linear gradient here and you can see it even more we have the inset effect okay lastly we have a semi-uniform bulge which is almost opposite to this as close as it can get so i'm just going to delete the circle in here and duplicate this one i'm going to put it in the middle of the shape and you're going to start with it being lighter and we are going to borrow one of the crescent moves we made earlier let's carry it over and duplicate it with Control and d and we're going to make this crescent moon a white. Good. And we're going to rotate it a little bit just for a little bit of variation. Next, we're going to go to the gradient tool. And we're going to drag the gradient tool down and set a darker color at the bottom. And that gives us our bulge, but we can go a step further. I'm going to go to our gradient tool, activate the radial gradient. I'm just going to put snaps on quickly because we want to snap to the center of this circle. Good. And we're just going to, for you, and we're just going to drag outwards. And we want the center to be darker than the edges. So. I want this to be slightly darker. Mm -hmm. Then drag the nodes to the end. And you can make this, let's make this edge just a little bit lighter with the fill and stroke. Great. That helps to set it a bit more make this slightly darker so there you have your five shaded circles you have your window sheen you have your bow in um, impression you have your spherical 3d um, expression so it comes out you have an inset here which is your which is a level depression and you have a bulge right here and all of this using the gradient tool and in some cases a little help with the boolean and the stroke on the outside to help to differentiate the colors thanks if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this tutorial leave a link in the accompanying blog post when it's up but until I see you again get up and design a new dawn later